we in this Dunkin' Donuts downtown, right? And um, so we asked for an Oreo glass, but the girl is saying that she don't know how to do it, and it's her second day here, and they not even trying to help her. But instead, they want to look at us like we crazy because we're we are trying to guide her through it, and we don't even work here. The managers and stuff looking bogus as hell, not even trying to help her. So I hope they know we finna call corporate. You know, then they down there talking about us because we told them that they need to assist this girl because she need help. Her name is Vanessa. She's a really. I'm finna give you a good review. The way I'm, is y'all manager here? With the hat on? Exactly. I knew that was the manager because he kept looking at me. But I'm about to, I'm, I'm really about to tell him, you know what I'm saying? First of all, bro. First of all, bro. This girl has only been here for two days. And y'all didn't even train her fully all the way through. Y'all put her out here on her own. You know what I'm saying? That's not right. That's bogus. That's bogus. You say your name is Vanessa? I'm going to give you a good review, too. Thank you. What's this man's name, though, with the, with the hat on? Excuse me, sir. Oh, yeah. What's your name, sir? Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey. You know that name? Can I take my coffee, French vanilla? Give me sugar? Yeah, well, you already know, bro. You steady keep looking at me because you bogus. Bogus. You is bogus for that. So his name is Tony, y'all. He works really at the Dunkin' Donuts downtown. Then they gonna wait until she's literally all the way done. She, we to control her so okay, let me. Right okay. Like, so man. nobody can say this is a racially. No. Pushed video because it don't have nothing to do with race. Okay, mind you. These people were not black, they were Indian and Hispanic. So, since y'all love trying to say that I be trying to say everything is racist, let me tell you something. Mostly, be, try coming to Chicago. I don't care. Don't try to say, oh, I got family from Chicago. No, try coming to Chicago and see how racist everything really is. But like today, this was not racist, you know. <laughs> this ain't got nothing to this, do with racist. So though. this is, let me show y'all. We downtown Chicago. We downtown Chicago. And um, we went to the Dunkin' Donuts. It's 8.57 a.m. Sunday, you know. Um, we just trying to get us some oreo blast you know to curb our appetite so this is what this is what irked my nerves right we placed our order with the hispanic guy we told the hispanic guy up front hey whoever's doing the oreo blast could you make sure that they have on some gloves he was like yeah and then he told the hispanic girl in spanish to make sure she wore gloves doing it you know because you dealing with like crushed Oreos and you know all type of stuff. You got to deal with ice cream and stuff like that. So you got to wear gloves doing stuff like this. I don't want nobody's dirty hands touching my stuff. Anywho, scratch that, right? She comes over there. She's just scrambling and looking confused. And then we we, didn't, we noticed that she didn't have on any gloves. So we asked her like, hey, excuse me. Could, could you put on some gloves since you're doing the Oreo blast? She was like, um, okay. So then she was like, um, oh, I was just, I was just trying to figure out how to do it. I'm like, mm. what? Mm. Like, you know, at that point, me and my husband was like, wait, what? She was like, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. So my husband was like, wait, how long you been working here? She was like, this is my second day here. Um, they didn't train me how to do this. You know, um, I saw them do it, but I don't know how. So, and she's a Hispanic girl. 
So my husband had to guide her because he's very familiar with getting Oreo blasts all the time. He pretty much introduced me to this. But um, he literally, he doesn't even work there. He's literally yelling over the glass, trying to tell her how to do it. I said, this don't make no damn sense. You know what? Where's the manager? Oh, guess what? The manager's staring me down, giving me evil looks because he knows damn well that this girl did not <sighs> no public parking they do this every summer like every summer um trying to find some way to park y'all but um <sighs> y'all the girl so the girl she was looking real nervous but you know he guided her through the first like two steps and then after that she started reading instruction and she did a really good job she did. you know but the thing is the manager was like yelling at her and telling her to do something or she did something wrong so my husband was like first of all she's already done and then the mexican guy came over there right when she was done trying to help her so then um we were like bro y'all don't have nobody that could have helped her in the first place he was like oh she's good it's her second day how the hell you gonna say she good and she just blandly told us that she's not good she don't she don't even know what she's doing we had to guide her through it he gets the attitude goes over there and started talking to i guess she was the assistant manager as the hispanic lady he goes over there they started talking they little shit so my husband was like don't worry about it we're gonna give you a good review what's your name she's like my name is vanessa thank you and you know he started talking about his experience and how he used to work at a gas station um and on his second day they tried to fire him because they it was their fault that they didn't fully train him the correct way and they tried to fire him because he didn't know what to do on his second day that's the same exact thing that they was doing to this girl. Then they kept yelling at her. What the hell are you yelling at her for? You didn't even train her. Y'all just ready. Y'all just ready to throw people into the food industry. Mind you, I used to I used to work at Buffalo Wild Wings. I used to work at Wendy's. I had a job at Little Caesars Pizza. Um I used to deal with a lot of food in the food industry and I did not like it, especially, especially Buffalo Wild Wings, okay? Because they literally just throw you on the register with no training. And if they do train you, they'll train you one day. Also, Wendy's. Wendy's is horrible. The establishment is horrible. They train you for like one day and then after that expect you to know everything in there. You don't even get orientation or anything. They just ready to throw you in there so they can get paid off of you. And that's it. Um, We asked for that supervisor's name. His name was Tony. We're going to call corporate and we're going to report Tony. Because that did not make no damn sense how they was doing that girl. And it's her second day. I feel like mandatorily dealing, being in the food industry, dealing with food, you should automatically train your employees for like at least a week straight. If not a week, four days, five days. Make sure they have more than enough training because that's just not right. Oh, another fast food industry i used to work at i forgot the name of it but six flags great america me and my husband worked at six flags great america great america together they literally trained us for one hour one hour and threw us to the wolves when i say six flags great america gets overly crowded it was so crazy it was ridiculous okay it was just overly ridiculous but yeah like comment subscribe i gotta go but yeah i just want to you know tell y'all about this you know the the dealing with the fast food industry if you're not good with dealing with the fast food industry i recommend that you do not work for them
because I've had some bad experiences.